and welcome to another episode of ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own repair disk for Windows 7. All you need is a blank CDR and you will be able to create a repair disk. Now, this will not reinstall Windows 7, but in the event that you have problems booting into Windows 7, the CD will allow you to repair any problems with the operating system. So let's get started. Now, to create the user or the system repair disk from Windows 7, first you need to insert a blank CD recordable or a CDR into the optical drive. Just take your blank disk, insert it in the drive, and then when the disk is read, a window will pop up wanting to, telling you it's a blank disk. Just exit out of autoplay. Now the disk is ready. The computer knows it's blank. Now go down to startup or click on start. Choose all programs. And then scroll down until you see maintenance. Click on that and you have a group of uh, things that you can do. Backup and restore, remote assistance, help and support. What we want is the second one, create a system repair disk. Click on that. Now, keep in mind that this will not reinstall Windows 7. However, it will repair the current installation. So in the event that your computer cannot boot up into Windows, this repair disk will allow it to fix the problem. Now, you'll bring up to this window here, and you want to know what drive you're going to use. Now, usually you only have one drive. If you have two, you need to choose which one that the disk is in. So, mine is selected. It's the only one that's listed. And then choose Create Disk. Now, it's going to take a few minutes depending on your computer. You'll hear it spinning up. And then pretty soon you'll start seeing the light on the drive begin. Now this means that the computer or the operating system is creating your uh, startup disk. Now when it's finished I'll show you how this program works. Now once the program is complete Autoplay will start up and you'll notice on the uh, window that it says Repair Disk Windows 7 64-bit. Now depending on your version of Windows it will say either 64 or 32. Now if you click on Open Folder to View Files you'll notice that it has all the stuff on here to allow your computer to boot up. Now Using the system repair disk, you can use, it says here that you can use the system repair disk to access system recovery options that can help you recover your computer from a serious error. Now, you want to be sure that you take the disk out, use a marker, and label it as the Windows 7 64-bit repair disk as it shows on here. And then choose close. Now the computer program is complete. Now, I want to restart the computer and let it boot from the CD drive and show you how it works. Now, when starting the computer, it will start and check the drive and you'll see this message. Just press any key. Now it will automatically start once you press any key to start from CD or DVD and it will load 
the startup program. Now, once the uh, startup disk is booted up, all you need to do is select the keyboard input method. Depending on your country, it does give you different options that you can use for your keyboard. And I want to, since I'm from the US, I'll just choose a US keyboard. Then choose next. Now it's going to search for the Windows installation to make sure that you do have the installation for Windows. Now it does show that it has uh, discovered that there were uh, startup options and it wants to know if you want to restart, re apply the repairs and restart your computer. Now you can see if you click on details and then it will give you the, the name of the program that it's found and what option it will give you and then choose close and then choose repair and restart now if any problems was detected the computer the software would have went ahead and repaired the master boot record which is usually what there it finds but if it doesn't find any it will search for any windows installation now as you can see I do have two operating systems on this computer it's also known as a dual boot I can run either Windows Vista or I can run Windows 7 now we can use the recovery tools to help fix problems just that's you know keeping Windows from starting now you want to select uh, the operating system that you're going to use whether it's Microsoft Windows or Windows 7. Now you can choose next and then it will bring you up to this window. Now you can choose startup repair which will automatically fix problems that's preventing Windows from starting. You can also do a system restore. This is the system restore that you've seen in Windows Vista and uh, uh, Windows 7 to where you know you can keep a little copy of the uh, status of your or of your computer it takes a little snapshot uh, you can also do a system image recovery which I showed you a minute ago uh, you can also do Windows memory diagnostics to check to see if you have any hardware errors in the memory which can be a problem as to why Windows cannot start you can also do a command prompt which you can do and run commands from the command prompt. Now to start up repair you can click on that and it will check to see if there's any kind of problems and if it does it will uh, fix the problems. Now if it doesn't detect any problem then it will let you know. Now there's no problems with my computer here but if it did find one, it will have uh, identified what the problem is and asked you to fix it. So let's choose uh, cancel. Now I can also choose a system restore. Now system restore is the same thing that you run in Windows 7 and Windows Vista and I believe Windows XP and this will search for the latest restore point. Now System Restore will come up and it's the same interface that you used on Windows. And then you just go in there, choose Next, and then select an autom uh, Restore Point that you wish to uh, go back to. Now these here are the most recent that it lists that my computer contains. And then you can just choose which one you want. Now you can also choose a system image recovery which I've shown you earlier. It brings you uh, to this and it shows you your latest image. Uh, Windows memory diagnostic 
which will uh, restart the computer and check for any problems with the memory. Or you can uh, check the memory the next time you start the computer. And you can also use a command prompt. So if you're going to do any uh, specific commands that requires a command prompt, this will allow you to do it. And then you can exit out. So this is the uh, helpful uh, startup repair disk for uh, Windows. Now keep in mind that this will not reinstall the operating system. However, it will repair any kind of problems that's preventing your operating system from starting up. Well, this concludes this video. I've shown you how to create your own repair disk for Windows 7 using a blank CDR. Now keep in mind this will not replace or reinstall your operating system but it will help you troubleshoot and solve problems in the event your Windows 7 is not starting. Well, I'm your host Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching.